From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jameson Euler. Meteorologist Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The governor updating us on coronavirus and its impacts here in Florida. He says anyone who works in a nursing home or assisted living facility must now wear a mask at all times. One of the governor's other priorities is ramping up Florida's testing capabilities. He says there are now over 600,000 individual coronavirus tests in the state, and he's working to get more medical equipment to help with those. Meanwhile, USF says an employee has tested positive for COVID-19. Officials say the staffer had direct contact with at least 13 students and several employees. The Florida Department of Health is contacting the people exposed and will begin monitoring them. The health department is also investigating at USF and trying to figure out if anyone else had contact with that person. The papers have not been signed, but ESPN and the NFL Network report that Tom Brady has agreed to terms with the Buccaneers. New league restrictions are slowing the signing process. Brady can't travel to the team facility yet, and he still needs to pass a physical before it's official. In other news, the Senate has passed a second coronavirus response bill and is sending it to the president. It includes a temporary new employer mandate to provide sick leave to workers who get the coronavirus. It's also aimed at making tests for the virus free. Now here's meteorologist Jason Adams with your forecast. Jason, the heat and sunshine that continues for us as we go through the day Thursday. We'll see lots of sunny skies to start. Temperatures into the mid 60s, quickly into the mid 70s by 10 a.m. We're into the mid to upper 80s for highs and nearing records, just like we did back on our Wednesday. So we're going to see plenty of sunshine. The heat's still out there. Thankfully, the humidity is tolerable. It's not anything like our summer like temperatures, but being the first day of spring is upon us. It's going to feel definitely more like June, more so than here in March. Jameson. Thank you, Jason. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.